this is What You Waiting For, A Woman's Perspective on Camping and Survival, and today I'm going to do part two in this series of food storage for newbies. And I think this is at least going to be a three or four part little series. Uh, well, today I'm going to talk about canned goods, and I think this is how most preppers start, is with canned goods. And there's probably like five reasons for that. The first one is... I think if you have ever lived your life in the United States or many other countries for that matter, somewhere in your life you have come in contact with food from a can. It's just, it's so out there. Everybody knows about it. Everybody has their special canned goods that they like. Um, my kids love Chef Boyardee. Um, I have so many good memories growing up with my grandma uh, with uh, Campbell's Soup. Uh, tomato Campbell soup and it's just it's so ingrained in our mind of canned goods uh, second of all they're easy to find you can find them everywhere grocery stores Walmart even gas stations now carry some odd um, canned goods uh, number three they're very cost effective um, Instead of running out and buying a full like 10 pounds of rice at one time or going out and having to buy a full case, you can just buy one can and they run from maybe 33 cents depending on what you get, you know, up to about a dollar or more. But you know, they're very cheap. Uh, number four, they're easy to store. You don't need any special things. All you do is put them in your cabinet, put them in your pantry. You can even store canned goods under your bed. You can store them uh, under a nightstand. You can store them in a closet. Just be careful. The only thing is the range of temperatures. No high temperatures, no low temperatures. So your house setting is a perfect place to store your um, canned food. Uh, number five is the shelf life. They last for a very long time. Most canned goods last between two and three years. Some meats and tuna might last three to four years. And then if you go beyond the, the canned goods and even think of like the premixes, like the, my, my puppy's yelping, um, like the pancake mix or the Bisquick, they even last about a year. So if you rotate your stock of canned goods or items, you can actually get it to last pretty a decent amount of time. And rotating your stock, you might hear about that a lot. And what that just means is first in, first out. It's real easy. The new ones you buy go in the very back of the shelf and you use the ones that you bought first. Well, I go a little beyond that and I actually look at expiration dates. And the reason being, um, sometimes if you find a sale, for example, uh, at the lo our local Brookshire's might have a sale on corn, two for a dollar. Here, that's pretty decent. We don't have a lot of really low cost food places here. We just have Brookshire's, Walmart, that's it. Uh, so, if I find a sale on corn and maybe I look at the expiration date and they might have items on the shelf that they're selling, maybe that's the reason they're trying to sell it, uh, might expire in a year. Well, a month before that, I could have went to Walmart and bought corn that would have lasted two years. So different stores um, carry different expiration dates. You know, and you also have to think of if there's a high volume and a high turnaround in a certain store like Walmart, where there's tons of people going to Walmart, um, the, go oh down, sorry, my dog, <laughs> um, the expiration date is going to be further out because they rotate that stock a lot faster. If I go to, say, a gas station or a little mom and pop store where they don't have as much traffic and they don't have as much customers, the expiration dates they might hold on the shelf a little longer. So you might go in one place, buy the exact same can of corn, but in one store it only has a year shelf life, expiration date in a year. In another one it might be two years. 
So when I go and buy new items, I actually put it by expiration date and put the first that's going to expire first in front rather than just when I bought it. You have to also be careful because a lot of places do do sales and they do sales because they have a lot of extra stock that they didn't sell. So be careful and watch expiration dates. Uh, you might buy something that might just expire in six months and other places you might stop by the same item and it might expire in three years. So just be, be leery of that when you buy canned goods. Another thing is, and if there's any grocery people watching, they're probably going to like freak out, but when you go and buy groceries, don't just grab the one on the out, on the very end that's facing you. Uh, if you go in a little bit and get one further back, it might have better expiration dates that last longer. Why? Because they're doing the same thing we are. The first ones, the oldest ones they have, they're wanting to sell first. So it, it, you might have noticed that when you buy milk. I never take one in the very front. I always reach in and, and grab one in the very back, and it has a better expiration date. So be leery of expiration date. And real quick, this is a little disclaimer. I am not stating 100% facts. I am stating my opinion, so don't ever say, you know, sue me or anything <laughs> or say, you know, you told me to do this. But on expiration dates on canned goods, you can eat them past the expiration date. Um, I'm sorry, but you can. <laughs> but you have to be leery. You know, it, it's it's like milk. You know, if you go and buy milk and it has an expiration date, usually you can drink it the next day. Maybe the second day it starts to get a little funky, you know, smelling and not tasting right. Then you throw it away. Well, vegetables in a can are a little bit different. You know, if it expires in October 2010, November 2nd, 2010, it's not just going to automatically just all of a sudden be bad. They're basically giving you a best buy date. After that date, the nutrients and vitamins start going down. So the quality of the food starts to deteriorate a little. Uh, but you do have to be careful. If there's any bulging cans, dented cans, cans with rust on them, that are leaking, any cans that when you pop the top it comes back up, those are definitely bad. And no matter what, the dented cans are sort of iffy, but if any of those other things, bulging, leaking, rusted, and where things are coming out of it, I would not eat it at all, even if it's in, if it's not expired yet, because you can get botulism and you can't die from it. Uh, but if any of those things for sure are after even dented cans I would be very leery about after the expiration date. I would not eat after the expiration date. Uh, if none of that stuff is happening and you have a beautiful can and it's looking good, I would go ahead open it up, smell it. Your nose sort of knows when things are bad. Not all the time, but it, it knows a lot. Uh, if it smells bad, I would get rid of it. If it looks odd, I would get rid of it. But if everything, it smells good, looks good, you know, everything seems fine, I would not taste it until I heated it throughout and thoroughly cooked it. Even if you can eat something like raviolis, you can eat straight from the can with it cold. After the expiration date, I personally would heat it up, heat it thoroughly before I even tr tried it or tasted it or ate it. Uh, but don't just automatically open something up and, hmm, yeah, that tastes okay. Botulism, you can't see and you can't really smell. You can smell when it's bad, but the actual botulism, you cannot tell. So look for the clues. But that's just my little disclaimer. But you can have things after the expiration date. Uh, I'm almost at 10 minutes, so I'm going to just wrap up this section. Uh, but don't forget when you have cans, can openers. That's a really big thing. Uh, do not have electric. If you do have electric, that's fine. Just have a backup. Have a backup to your backup. Uh, if you have battery operated, you can have tons of batteries, but eventually they will all die and they will go bad. 
and there's so many working parts, there's a chance that the motor might stop working. So always, always have backups. <laughs> um, <laughs> peanut hush. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, I suggest, I suggest like a swing away is a very good one. They have some. I might just go ahead and stop here, and I'll pick up in the next video. <laughs> what you waiting for? Bye.